Well, howdy, folks. Howdy. Oh, is this thing on? I said howdy, folks. Howdy. Oh, uh, now that's much good or better. Well, this is your conductor, John, all the way back here on the back of the train, and I want to be the first to welcome you aboard the 60th anniversary of the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. That's right, 60 years of creating memories worth repeating. Now, waving us off the dock is Courtney. Everybody say hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Now, with any luck, we might actually see her again in a couple days. <laughs> Over to your left, right behind Courtney, you'll see Half Dollar Holler, where you can ride an old-fashioned carousel with animals hand-painted by folks right here in Silver Dollar City. Right next door to that is Bears in the Holler, where you can build your own bear. You can even buy clothes for that bear, so when you take that bear home, it won't be a bear bear. Because, you know, that would just be unbearable. Looking up over here to your left, folks, you're going to see a two-story green building. That is the one and only Silver Dollar Saloon. That's home to some of the longest and prettiest legs you'll ever see. And that's just on the bar stools. So belly up to the bar, have a little bit of fun, enjoy some great music and dance and girls. Also up here on the left is Fire in the Hole. I want to hear everybody sing it. Fire in the Hole. Yeah, I've seen some of them pesky ball knobbers came to town last night, set the city on fire. Now the fire chief needs all the help he can get to put out that raging. That raising, everybody say it. Fire in the Hole. Now over here on the right is Mystic River Falls. 200,000 gallons of wet family fun and the tallest draft drop in the western hemisphere. Also up here on the right is Wilson's Farm. That's home to the giant barn swing. Now that thing will take you 75 feet straight up in the air and then drop you down at 50 miles per hour. Now folks, we're getting ready to go down a pretty steep grade and I can't help but notice some of the weary looks on your faces. You're probably worried about the brakes we have on this train, aren't you? Well, I'll have you know that we have spared no expense to purchase some of the best brakes that money can buy. Yep. They're all back order. They should be here in four to six weeks. In the meantime, here's what I want you to do. Everybody put your hands straight up in the air and say, Woo! Now you know the emergency procedure if we do lose the brakes on this train. Or you can just step on that black button on the floor beneath your feet. Nah, folks, there's no button. I just didn't expect you look. That's just for my entertainment. Now, coming up on our left is Powder Keg, our cannon roller coaster that blasts you off from zero to breathless in 2.4 seconds. Except it's closed. Now, I'm not really sure about that because I always pass out before I pass All I ever get is a nice picture of me. It looks like a super Now that big structure on the right is Outlaw Run. 2013 is right of the year. It'll take you up 168 feet, drop you at an 81% grade at 68 miles per hour. Now speaking of outlaws, I just got word back in the depot that those two notorious train robbers, Alfie and Ralphie Bowman, are busted out of jail and could be headed our way. Everybody say, oh no. Oh no. Now, I need y'all to do me a favor, keep your eyes crossed and your fingers peeled, and if you've got any gold or silver in your teeth, well, I suggest you just keep your mouth shut. Now up on the right, we're coming up on Moonshine Stump. Yeah, you see the local moonshiner, he likes to leave a jug of his mind as pretty passerby to try. If you'd like to try a sample, well, just raise your hand, we'll drop you off and pick you up on the way back through. And I do mean pick you up. My old grandpappy used to call that stuff old frog water. One sip, you turn a little green. Two sips, you start hopping. And on the third one, well, you just croak. Ribbit. Now I do want to remind you folks to keep your arms, legs, and feet inside the train at all times. You see, we are entering rattlesnake country. Well, just the other day, we had a 97-pound rattlehead of copper mockets. His wife, a lady, clean off of car number three. Right here down that hill off to the left, and we ain't seen hide nor hair of her or the snake since. But we do hear from her husband, though. Yeah, he's down at the Silver Dollar Saloon every night, buying rounds for everybody, singing Happy Days Are Here Again. <laughs> now up ahead on your left, we're going to see one of the few and only tragedies of the first Coast Silver Dollar Line. It's the old wreck of Engine 82. Not too far back, we had an engineer named Dick Devon Q. Peabody. He had him 
himself just a little bit too much in the old moonshine. Decided to take this 3.9 mile per hour curve at the rate of blades and speed of 7.9 miles per hour. Now, needless to say, he didn't make it. Well, I went down to look for old Nicky Bob a few days later, found him underneath all that rigging. He was still kicking, so I dusted him off, brought him back up, and I'll give you three guesses who's driving your train here today. Hey, Ichabod, can you give us three twos on that whistle, please? Ichabod, I said three twos. Well, that just goes to show there's three kinds of people in this world, those that know how to count, those that don't. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now wearing Potter's Hill, Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now leaving Potter's Hill, Missouri. Population three. It used to be four until that dog ran off. Dog gone. Hey, Ichabod, we can't stop out here in Rattlesnake Country. What are you doing? Uh-oh, I see what the problem is. It's Alfie and Ralphie Bowling, and they're flagging down our train. Everybody say, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I said, suppose I better get off the train and see what they're up to. Oh, but I know these two. Let's see if we can just scare them off. Everybody shake your fist at them and call them ugly. Oh, now that would scare a squirrel out of the middle of a road. Shake your fist and call them ugly. Yeah. yeah! We might be ugly, but at least we're stupid, so there you go. Wait a minute. I didn't say that right. What? I, I don't think I said that right. Both brothers, you get back up here. Now, what's the meaning of this stopping my train out here in the middle of nowhere? You ought to just be glad we got you stopped in time. We stopped you to warn you. Warn me? About what? Yankees! Yankees? Yeah, right up there. Nine of the biggest, ugliest Yankees you ain't never did see. They got these war sticks. They're swinging and swatting and stuff, and they ain't hitting nothing. Well, if they're swinging and they're swatting, why ain't they hitting nothing? Well, we think they're New York Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there ain't been no Yankees out here in your 60 years. 60 years? Wait, 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 wait. They're back. They're back. Well, yeah, they're back. They're really old now, but they're back, and they're me. They're mean. How do you know they're mean? Well, last night, Ralphie and me, we sneaked up on them in the bushes and heard them talking. Well, what'd they say? Well, the bushes didn't say anything. Not the bushes, the Yankees. Oh, the Yankees. Well, Ralphie got closer than I did. Ralph, what'd they say? Whoopee! Yee-haw! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, now, that, 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 that's it. My passengers, they don't speak Yankee. I don't speak Yankee. You speak Yankee? That gentleman right there, he did what well, he got. You speak Yankee? Yeah, I speak you Yankee. Speak Yankee. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save you for later, but we're going to ask you what they said. <laughs> well, well, if that's since I got it siphoned out, it means they're going to swoop down on your train. Oh, then they're going to burn it to the rail. Yeah. Then they're going to run off with all the women. Uh, <laughs> now hold on, you have me right up until that last part. I'm not buying any of this. Well, you don't gotta buy it, it's free. Oh, it's free? Yeah, it's free. Well, I suppose for the safety of my passengers, I should probably go up and check out your Yankee story. That's a good idea right there, Ralph. Come on. Well, I got another good idea. You stay away from my train, get back up here. Now, you guys, if I come back and I find you near my train, I got a little surprise for you. A surprise? Yeah, hey, wait a minute, buddy. We like surprises. What you got for us? A second belly button. A you second. might surprise the route. Yeah, you, you might surprise the route too. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you need your route. Wait a minute, though. I'm route. Oh, yeah, you're route. Well, I don't need another belly button. Why not? I got one. He gave me another. That'd be like a naval reserve. I can't even argue with that. Guess y'all ain't figured it out, but yet yeah, y'all been a heap of mess of trouble because your little conductor guy went up there to check on those Yankees. Let y'all hear with us. We're those two notorious train robbers. I'm Alfie Bowling. This is my little brother, Ralphie. Y'all say hi, Ralphie. Hi, Ralphie. Hi, Ralphie. And what we got here today, y'all, the stick-up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta laugh at that because we really ain't got anything better. No, it's train robbery. I need everybody.
and get your hands up back scared. Wait, everybody. Everybody, come on, get them up, get them up here. Ah! Look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this, Robbie. Can you believe this? Some of them still ain't after me doing it just because I said that. Who listen to a blockhead like me? Wow. What are you doing? I got my hands up acting scared like you said. Well, you're on my side. Well, that's what scares me. Well, get down and put the stick down before you hurt yourself. Good grief. I said jump off here and do a pile of rock paper first. You're going to do that, too? Not again. Well, y'all are going to you. Remember what we talked about in the shack last night? Uh, chocolate milk don't come from brown cows. Yeah, we did. It should, but, it, no, but, but, but no, I'm talking about after that, the train, train robbing. Oh, train robbing. Yeah, I don't remember. You don't remember? No. Well, let me learn you again, because we got a train. So put your hand out like this. Like oh, good job, Roger. Now, get a mean, nasty look on your face. Well, I mean a nasty. Well, you get more money down the line. Oh, okay, okay. You call that nasty? She does. Oh, I think she does. Take what's if you're sparking her, go down there and practice. Okay. March down there, put your hand out, look her in the face, say, Give me all your gold and silver. You blockhead. Give me all your gold and silver, you blockhead. No, Ralph, she ain't the blockhead, you are. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm the blockhead. Ralph, she knows that already. She know that? Ralph, the whole train know that. Oh, train know that. Ralph, look here, buddy. Give me all your gold and silver. I ain't got none. That's what you say to her. I ain't got Ralph, none. Ralph, Ralph, and just get over it. We're just going to rob this train. You're going to take the high rollers up here. High rollers. I'm going to take the cheap seat. Uh-huh. Now, we're, we're going to get all the gold. Gold, silver, silver copper, and daughters. Copper and daughters. Hey, 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 No, 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 not daughters. The dollars. D-A-W-L-R-Z, the folding money. Oh, the Yankee folding yeah, money stuff. Yeah, get the robin okay. before that guy gets back. Gold and silver. Y'all got silver. gold or silver? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're ugly. Wait for the action. Gold, silver. I can pull the go for Gold, silver. You got me gold or silver? Copper, dollars. Gold and silver. Tony's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I know better than that. Oh, yeah. 12 again, right? Now, gold, silver. Woo, thank you, Robin, y'all. Y'all got any gold or silver back here? Copper? Copper, dollars, gold or silver? Get that gold, 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 gold,
Two. One. Two. Camouflage. Can't see me. Set the brakes. 
Now this train does tend to jerk and slip back a little, so I'll let you know when it's safe to get off the train. But it's still then, everybody please wait and stay seated. Please wait. All right, go ahead and exit the